fourth day of the show, and everybody's a little green around the gills. And not the least of which, our good friend Henry Hine from Bag End Loudspeakers, uh, legendary manufacturers of bass drivers and various uh, monitors and other equipment. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the PD-10XD. Yes. The new uh, bass, uh, maybe, I'm looking at it, I think it's a combo bass amp, but Henry's going to explain why it's not a combo. It's a bag end bass uh, amp uh, with a, a bass uh, a cabinet with an amp built in. Let's talk about it. Well, thanks, Rob. This is a new speaker that we've uh, developed. What really makes it new is there's a uh, built-in power amplifier. We've taken our minimal one amp, which is a 1,000 watt amplifier, uh, and installed it in our bass cabinets. And this one adds only six pounds to the uh, to the weight of the whole cabinet. It has an XLR input. It's it's uh, it's made to take a balanced signal in from a from a preamp like this or any uh, line level output device you might want to send you know signal that you might want to send into it, or you can actually plug a guitar right into it if the guitar has a uh, enough uh, level on its output, like many of the ones with power supplies built in with uh, batteries or some other scheme to get the output up to about, you know, to line, almost line level. That will drive this thing to full power. So uh, would you say then that this, is, uh, this was designed mainly for uh, 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 bassists that are uh, running uh, active pre's on board uh, or, uh, or other types of uh, uh, different output situations like that? Yeah, the, the new guitars, a lot of them have active pre's and really nice tone control. So you often having an outboard preamp is just redundant. So you can get actually the cleanest, lowest noise signal coming right out of the bass. If you've got an old bass with just passive controls, or even a new bass with just passive uh, uh, pickups, then you'll probably want to use a preamp for tone control. It also sounds to me like this might be uh, an excellent, uh, uh, an excellent uh, uh, choice for a signal path for reamping in the studio. Like if you were actually like taking a signal back out of the uh, deck. Yeah, you could just come right off your console or off your. Uh, your tape recorder and go right into the back of this thing. It'll work, you know, no problem. So let's take a look at the uh, PD-10X. We'll take a look at the uh, 10XD, excuse me, and uh, we'll look at the front of it. And thanks so much for uh, taking some time, Henry. Thanks, Rob.